and and I'll tell you honestly, I will love 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 it if we beat them. We are episode one hundred and four. We are a touchline rant. We are here in the wonderful, wonderful Welsh ice. I say mm-hmm. wonderful. I think that's good. Mm-hmm. Uh, with Jamie McGowan, say hello. Hello. How are we doing? Yeah, that. We've got a wonderful guest at a wonderful place. We've used wonderful this fourth time now. It's yeah, too, it's too much. It's a bit too much, isn't it? Ma- yeah. Okay, I've got. I'm gonna have a nosebleed. What, what, we, we? what are we chatting about? We are this week. We're gonna chat about. Uh, a bit of a new feel this week, actually. We're going to only discuss a few games. We're going to talk Chelsea versus Liverpool uh, a bit in depth. We're going to then play a game that we haven't written. Haven't written. Jamie we, we is the first know, guest. Don't Please don't build us up too much. He's then a game. He's got, you know, he's got some crackers to live up to. Stop bigging it up. I'm right. right. I've written the best most game ever. Who's okay. telling us? <laughs> yes, that's right. It was, it was, I've written the best game ever. Anyone's ever yeah. played. So... We've got that to look forward to. Uh, we're going to look at Man City, Watford, just mainly Man City, I think, there, really. And then we're going to do a little bit of a roundup of the Premier League. And then, mm-hmm. oh, you got a corner. Skinner's corner's back. There's more There's more than that. It's okay. Just, just, this, this Skinner's corner's back is about yeah. young players and pressure. It's, yeah, it's about more than that. More than that. Yeah. We, I mean, <coughs> regular listeners. Olivier podcast, Barnard we'll know, comes up. Oh, okay. big name. Regular listeners of this podcast will know we don't know where the hell that's going to go, <laughs> but we like Skinner's Corner. Then it says outro and we're all going to go home. Mm. All right, play the music. Uh, we are joined by Jamie McGowan. We want to ask the question, <clears throat> Jamie, who are you? What do you do? Where are we? You're in Cavili, home of the second biggest castle in Europe. Yeah. Uh, and home to Welsh Ice. We're we based over three buildings. We've got about 220 businesses based here. Yeah. We've got people who are gamers and people who are web developers and people who are events planners and dog walkers and all sorts. And we give them a space to come and run the business. We educate them, we train them, and we give them a sense of kind of community and let them do what they want to do in a safe space. Yeah, we, we, we've got loads of plans to do cool things. Uh, and if you want to come and learn how to do your own little start, come and see us and we'll try and help. So I've bought a bit of memorabilia in as well. Nice. Uh, this is, uh, I looked this up on eBay earlier on. These are selling on eBay for £2.49. <laughs> Hell of a mark. Wow. This is, my, this is my first ever Luton Town game. And I went, this was in May uh, 1995. David Priest's testimonial versus Manchester United. I went in as a Manchester United fan. So I went there as a Man United fan. I'd never nice. been to a game of football before. I was 12. And I saw the Man United were playing in my hometown. So I snapped up tickets and I was nice. like, I'm going to go there. I'm going to see Lee Sharp. I'm yep. going to see Paul Lintz. I'm yep. going to see Dennis Irwin, who was my favourite player at the time. Yeah, I turned up and yeah. I had a look at the squad and I had nobodies playing, such as Paul Scholes. Who's he? Yeah, who's Paul Scholes? Nicky Butt, Phil Neville, Gary Neville, and some joker on the bench called David Beckham. And I was few of these. I was like, who are these guys? Because in 1995, I was like, I mean, you've missed out John O'Kane. It's big <laughs> star. Like I fell in love with these gentlemen. I fell in love with Dwight Marshall. Steve Foster, Linton. Trevor Peak, nice, um, and uh, I, I entered the, the stadium in Manchester. Mick United Harford, the Scott Legends. Oaks, yeah. and I left the Luton Town fan. And wow. then, um, which player did it for you? Um, which player? It was probably David Priest because I remember vividly we won three uh, two, and it was two all. And in the last minute, the Manchester United defence opened for David Priest on his testimonial to dance through. <laughs> yeah. And me, naive, 12 years age, I thought this was, the, well, he's brilliant, look, he's just torn apart. It's amazing. David Mays all over the show. So I've been supporting Luton Town ever since then, and it's been absolutely that's horrible. Quite, that's quite the tale. <laughs> <laughs> love, love, love it if we beat them. Chelsea versus Liverpool. The Chelsea have had a kind of rough Premier League season, and Liverpool have just turned up. Firmino was unbelievable. In that game. And the way he just yeah. dusted just himself down on. and got off the bench and went, right, lads. Because that's oh, he's a team player right there. The most selfless Premier League player. I think this is going to be the season where we talk up, about Mane. Right? This is going to be... You think? I think so. And I think he wants that. The way he behaved when he didn't get the ball passed to him yep. was because he's got a f- this season he's got fire in him. What do you guys think of the um, this Chelsea squad, this young emerging Chelsea squad? I think it's a win-win because you're going to get the fans on side. Yeah. They're having funny. They're having laughs in training, aren't they? Having a laugh. Having, having a giggle. Having a laugh. Example of the Thank last you very much. I think it's going to be... I'm going to go, go for a wild one. It's going to be 3-2. Ooh. to Liverpool. I'm going to go with a Liverpool win, but I think it's going to be yeah, quite tight. I was going to go 2-1. I think, I think Chelsea going, might get it? schooled. Mm. Oh, you're mm. saying they might get schooled. So we'll see who's made a fool of themselves the most next week. I, 
would like to present to you fine gentlemen, Kit or Campus. So you're here at the ICE Campus. We are. At home to 250 businesses. Kit or Campus, so I'm gonna read you out a business. Yeah. It's be a business name. Yeah, okay. You need to decide whether that business is the sponsor of a British, current British football team's kit. Okay, I like or it. Or a business that's based here on the ICE Campus. So it's, it's Kit or Campus. campus. It's Kit or Campus. The business name is Dunder. That is, that is a kit. He's gone kit. He's gone kit? It's correct, it's a kit, it's oh. one point. Ever Trek, ever Trek, ever, ever, ever Trek. Campus. He's drawn level, it's one all. Yes. Profit sorcery. I'm gonna say campus. Oh my. He's gonna say campus. It's two one, he's correct. Oh, I genuinely would say kit there. Is this easy? Indigo residential. I'm gonna say kit. You're gonna say kit? You'd be correct. Annapurna recruitment. I'm gonna say kit. I'm gonna say kit. Would you believe it is correct again? Oh. <laughs> Press tech. So I'm gonna say campus. I'm gonna say campus. It hit the crossbar and it's went flying out. <laughs> it's Press deck of the sponsor of Burton Albion. The business name is Kit or Campus? Vita Orbis. Kit. Kit. Vita Orbis are two, one of the young ladies who work here at ICE running a uh, uh, addiction business. So you're incorrect. I'm going to, I, I so in your, much press. Okay, Kit. Going to go Kit. It's correct. It's a draw. Um, a bit of interest in fact, but near me now. Near yeah. me now, uh, you were going to win, you were going to get the right whatever, because they are a business here at Welsh Ice, and they are the sponsors of La Lantwit Fadra Under 16 Girls Football Club. So that's a draw, I haven't got a tiebreaker, so just shake hands. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was Kit All Campus. <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Palace bounds and devil's the horse Darren Decker. The Darren Decker. Can we get on to the other end now? And then just pointing out that Marcus Rashford more. is only 21. Yeah. He's only 21. This is exactly what I so shared with him for doing, and I'm doing it myself. I assumed everyone knew. You know when FIFA came out and it had like career mode? Yeah. That, I'm not, I'm not, I'm dreamt it. That's based on Rashford, right? That, that dude in there. The, um, you're talking about the journey. The journey? No. I just assumed that that was like a subtextual thing. He's getting, yeah. He's getting very He's getting animated. animated. What? Right. I just He's assumed everyone knew that. Is it again? No. Jesse Lingard. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. How could you lose? He's so overhyped. You can't lose lose track of what he's achieved. You're a stats injury. man, though, Skinner. What, what yeah, enjoy? Talk to me about his assists and goals over I the last... The Lingard? Yeah. yeah he's, got his own, he's got something like three assists and goals in so a long, long time. In a very long time. He in doesn't extreme, do much. He has literally got no assists and no goals. So he's deemed to be uh, attacking and creative, but he yeah, doesn't. He's an attacking creative player, but he doesn't. If this was Alex Ferguson's Manchester United, Jesse Lingard would now be, he'd be on the phone to Everton. I'm going to add one, and again, because... You know, a touchline man is quickly becoming the unofficial Luton Town podcast. It is. Uh, I want to. I, I want to talk one more tick on the Luton Town mention there. Okay. Uh, I want to talk about James Justin, who signed for Leicester last season, who hasn't got any game time yet for Leicester because he yeah. can't get past Pereira. But this guy is incredible. He got his first under twenty one cap um, last week in the international break. Nice. Got some game time on the pitch. He's a right back, can play left back. He's great in defence. He's fantastic up front. He's just. A, he's just a great. Fullback, and I think that he's gonna he's gonna break into the Leicester team probably end of the season, and he's gonna be a future future England starter. Watch yeah. the name, James Justin. Declan Rice is gonna make a big money move to someone and crash and burn. He's <laughs> gonna go to Man United, and we're never gonna see him again. <laughs> I have concerns that Phil Foden is gonna be the next one in a long line of young English players who are gonna be so talented and promising, Johnson. and are gonna burn out. Mike drop. Olivia Barnard, because you know what he's doing now. You've got. Do you know what he's seconds. doing? Do you know what he's doing? This is what I came hey, for. Really? What is Olivia really? Barnard doing? He's owner and chairman of Durham FC. Durham, sorry, Durham City FC. <sighs> right. And his, one of his quotes are, I don't think the area develops enough youngsters. So I think that's a good sign in to what, uh, what Chelsea are doing. So that leads into my too good, too bad feature. Too good. Chelsea youth coming through. It's nice. You've got the Tamoris. You've got the match. Too you've good. Got the, Give me two. Too bad. You, like, one of them is Arsenal, the way they play out from the back. I just don't understand why. I think there should be a time to do so. Love, love, love it if we beat them. Thank you, Jamie. Very nice. much for coming on. Thank you so much for coming along. I've had a genuinely awful time with you too. Yeah. Really yeah. bad. We get that a lot. No, guys, it's been great. It's been brilliant. Thank you so much. And where can we find your stuff? How can we find Welsh Eye? Uh, How can we do that? Uh, Twitter, M4. Facebook, M4. Van Road. Head to Van Road in Confidi. But literally, we, we have an open door policy. If you want to come out and find out more about what we do, about Enterprise, if you want to come and hang out with me, if you want to talk Luton Town, just head up right. to Philly Business Park. I've mentioned it again, haven't I? How many times Every section. Luton. Every, every Luton. section. It's amazing. Pop yeah. in. We are selling the CSK Sapphire Gardens home shirt. Why the hell would you do that? Rant. Why would we do that? Because we want to give all the money made to the wallet. Send us in £25 to paypal.me slash FIFA Ramble. Don't ask. All right? <laughs> Don't ask. That's where you need to send it. Thank you very much. We're going to leave it there. See you next week. Yeah. Love it if we beat them.